We hope your conscience haunts you forever from the time you wake up to when you lay down at night. Those are the words written by and read on behalf of the family of this man, David Wynn. Wynn was killed in 2021 when a wrong way driver on Interstate 380 hit the SUV Wynn was a passenger in. Tyler Lee, the driver of that wrong way vehicle, heard his sentence of 25 years in prison today. KCRG TV9's Rebecca Vaughn was in the courtroom and has a reaction. I will never recover from the hurt Mr. Lee has caused me. I watched David pass before my eyes, the sound of his last breath and the images of him sitting there as his life left his body haunts my dreams till, still to this day. In 2021, Riley Wallingford was driving three friends home from a birthday party. Another driver going the wrong way on I-380 in Cedar Rapids hit them head on, killing David Wynn and seriously hurting two others. That driver was Tyler Lee, who was out on bond from Illinois on a murder charge. I will move forward in spite of Tyler Lee's careless actions, but I will never be the same me as I was that day. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, sir. Lee took a plea deal in court Tuesday, pleading guilty to homicide by vehicle, operating while intoxicated in exchange for three other charges being dismissed. He was sentenced to the maximum amount of prison time possible. You are here on sentence to a period of incarceration now to exceed 25 years in the Iowa Department of Corrections. Lee addressed the family in court today, apologizing for his actions and said that if he could trade places with Wynn, he would. I can only say I'm sorry. I have learned from this. Uh, during my time while incarcerated, I will seek treatment for alcohol use and abuse, and I will endeavor to, make, to never make such a mistake again. Um, I will live with the guilt from this terrible decision, terrible loss I caused to him and your family for the rest of my life. I am so very sorry. But a letter written by the family said no David apology will ever had. be enough. Nothing will ever be the same now without David being here with all of us. All of our lives have been impacted greatly, and forgiveness will never be granted Whenever we drive through the S curves on the interstate now, we can't help but be reminded of the accident as terrible memories and scars, which seem to be nightmares we are never able to wake from. In Cedar Rapids, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV9 News.